I yield four minutes uh, to the Vice Chairman of the Energy and Commerce Committee, the gentleman from North Dakota, Mr. Armstrong. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. H.R. 1615, uh, the Gas Stove Protection and Freedom Act, would prohibit funding to the Consumer Product Safety Commission for only two purposes. First, to regulate gas stoves as a banned hazardous product, and second, to impose any consumer product safety standard on gas stoves that would result in a prohibition on the use or sale of the appliances or otherwise substantially increase the average price. Simply put, this bill prevents the Commission from banning the entire product category of gas stoves. This bill does not prevent the Commission from its statutory mission to address specific models of gas stoves or any other product that may pose an actual safety hazard. We are debating this bill because Commissioner Richard Trumka has made repeated statements that the Commission would consider substantial regulatory actions on gas stoves categorically. His comments include a December 2022 statement advocating for a ban on gas stoves. The chair of the commission has walked back Commissioner Trumpka's impulsive statements by declaring, I am not looking to ban gas stoves. However, despite the chairman's cleanup statement, the commission has since issued a March 1st request for inf information that included repeated mentions of toxic emissions and chronic hazards regarding gas stoves. We all agree that consumer product and safety is important. Yet, it is apparent that the underlying motivation behind this veiled consumer safety play is a green climate agenda with the goal to further restrict natural gas. 20 congressional Democrats sent a letter to the commission in December 2022 that first mentioned the equivalent climate impact of regulating gas stoves before addressing the merits of any health concerns. And let's discuss the alleged health concerns. First, multiple studies claiming that gas stoves create harmful indoor emission levels have been criticized for inaccurate conclusions and testing that failed to simulate real-world conditions. Some of those studies measured indoor emissions in an area enclosed in a plastic tarp without any ventilation. There are no studies establishing a causal relationship between cooking with gas stoves and asthma. Studies of actual homes under real life conditions found that nitrogen dioxide levels were below the standard EPA considers harmful to health. Further, other cooking related and non cooking related emissions factors have a meaningful effect on indoor emissions. These factors, such as the chemical makeup of food and oils, cooking temperature, cooking methods, food surface to mass index, the use of exhaust and ventilation, and burning of tobacco, candles, and incense. Again, all of this is secondary because we know the motivation of the CPSC and throughout the, this entire administration is a green climate push. The goal is to dictate how you live every aspect of your life, how you save and invest for the future by pushing ESG, how you drive by banning gas-powered cars, and now the goal is to control how you cook and literally breathe inside your home. I am confident in stating that the vast majority of North Dakotans don't want the federal government telling them how to live their life, particularly in their own home. And to my Democratic colleagues, if you agree with the chair of the commission and don't want to bass gas stoves for over 187,000 million Americans, vote for the bill. If you agree with Commissioner Trunkwell that the federal government should take away every gas stove in the country, oppose the bill. Yet before you oppose the board, make sure you have a good answer to why your constituents can't cook the way they want and be prepared to defend it. I urge everyone to vote in favor of H.R. 1615 so we at least can end the Commission's misguided foyer into the kitchens of every American. And with that, I yield back.